Well, Ariel, found a world for your people yet? Yes, an unclean planet called Haven. Aren't either of you worried the colonists might be infested? They're perfectly healthy. I hope so, Ariel. The Protoss don't mess around when it comes to infestation. Mobius wants us to go after another artifact on some dead world called Zill. Before they went missing, the Mobius team reported artifact radiation emanating from that big old hunk of rock over yonder. They brought a big damn laser drill to burn the way in. That thing's a monster. More Terran thieves. You will pay for your transgressions with your lives. At least we know what happened to the other expedition. We need bunkers and siege tanks defending that laser drill. It is our sacred duty to stop these defilers. I'm giving you manual control of the laser drill. See if you can use it against the Protoss. You have prevailed for now. Word of this sacrilege will echo across the stars, James Radar. What do we care? As long as the pay's good. Show up out of nowhere. Time is oh. short. You must understand. The answers you seek lie within. Study it well. The fate of creation hangs in the balance. Nice to see you too. Ehan crystals before. Supposedly they allow you to relive another person's memories. But for Sarah Tools uncovered, it was desperate for me to see it too. Well, here goes nothing. Welcome back. So we, uh, we've we got the USB hard drive that Zeratul keeps his memories on, which we're going to be looking at. Uh, one of the main motivating factors, frankly, for me doing the dig was to uh, get the Protoss research as soon as possible. What that means is this research console where we buy things for Terrans, we're actually probably not going to revisit for a little bit. I'm going to try and get micro filtering because I like orbital depots because it means you don't have to worry about getting supply blocked as much. So I'm going to try and make sure I focus more on... This is a solvable problem. If you play optimally, you should be able to play without needing this. That's not to say it's bad. I actually think it's great <laughs> if you struggle with macro. But this gives you a benefit if you also keep on top of your macro. And I'm trying to play a bit smoother. So I am going to go for micro filtering when we get to it. However, we're not going to need micro filtering because we're brain jacking into Zeratul's memories. Raynor, the hounds of the void are closing in. I impart my memory, my very essence, into this Nihan crystal so that you will see what I have seen, and that the future may yet have hope. 
So yeah, I will see you on the other side of the loading screen for this one. Zeratul. What the hell have you gotten yourself into? Friend Raynor, long has it been since we stood together against the swarm. Since then, I have wandered the void in solitude, seeking an ancient prophecy rumored to foretell the return of the Zelnaga. My sojourn led me to a remote world known as Ulan, where I discovered fragments of the prophecy, yet I was not the first to find them. It falls to you now, old friend, to relive my memories and believe. this place, Kerrigan. Do you hear them, Zeratu? Whispering from the stars. The galaxy will burn with their coming. Perhaps. But you won't live to see it. Oblivion together. Never. I 
shall embrace it. Prophecy is uncertain. There is always hope. Okay, let's get going. Just take that out because we are cloaked. The prophecy was divided into fragments, each kept at separate shrines. I must gather them and depart this world quickly. And whenever he wants, there this we go. Chasm is vast. It is fortunate that I can phase through the shadows to the other side. And blink again. And, oh. I think we can blink over those. I don't know whether it's better or worse to destroy them. <laughs> must not Gonna get rid of these for a second. There we go. Spore crawlers can detect my presence. I should stun them with my void prism. And I think they'll just go and borrow. Yeah, so we don't need to kill them. Um... Oh. Glory to the first <laughs> this is just a very obvious ramp that I completely missed. Okay, so what I'm actually going to... And now, yeah, figured there'd be some Zerglings. Smaller kind of Zerg. There we go. And can I pull this guy out? There we go. There we go. Let's just deal with that. Might have to blink out. Nope. We're good. I'm going to take those out just in case I need to come back. And kill that off. Cool. And let's void that. That spore crawler can detect me from across the chasm. It must be destroyed. There we go. Not. That overseer can see through my cloak. I'd best stun it with my void prison before crossing this chasm. Okay, so let's stun that. Uh, anytime, sir at all. Thank you. Kill those off just to be safe. And there we go, of the first prophecy fragment. The first fragment of the prophecy. Soon all will be made clear. Do we do actually get a full heal? Why not surrender yourself to oblivion, Zeratul? Wouldn't it be better to end your struggle now than witness the final agonizing moments of your species? So much for Kerrigan's reprieve. Oh, Shakuras. Oh, any time, guys. I'm just gonna blink that back there. I'm gonna blink that back, back there. There we go. Greetings, Exalted One. We are here in the service of High Templar, Karas. He is nearby. Your presence is most welcome. Let us keep moving. So, it, when what we can do is we can take that out. It will no longer give high ground vision. Hopefully they should be able to do that quickly. There we go. You address me. And then let's see. I think they usually will borrow once there's nothing else that can spot for them. 
I might actually jump down and kill them just to be safe. I can't remember exactly how this mission goes. There we go. There we go. Uh, take a second to come back up. It's got them out of the way. My burdens. And then we need to take out that overseer. So I wonder, can we... Let's see if we can pull the mutilisks. I will be redeemed. There we go. There's one mutilisk. Let's see if I can get the others' attention. Not quite yet. Hello. Mutilisk. <laughs> okay, I guess not. See if we can get their attention that way. There we go. Void prison bat. And then we can probably kill that off. Fantastic. And yeah, let's take out the actually let's take out oh take out that. And you can get that. There we go. That's where it's killed. That patrol of brood lords must be dealt with cautiously, or we will be torn asunder. Now, what I want to see is if I can pull that brood lord this way. My Hello. Is yours. Come over here. Glory to the firstborn. Uh, no, that's not going to quite work, is it? So let's... Ah, they're going to one at a time. Okay. Can you guys get that? Take it out there. Good, that's that one down. Nice and safe. And we've also dealt with the spine crawler. And then we can... Stun that. Oh. Not yet. Let's, let's just head up here to do that. There we go. Let's avoid prison bat. Yeah, a bit of health damage on Zero Tool, but he'll get better. Oh, you hold them off there for a second. You stun that. Take that out. There we go. Nice and easy. Uh, let's get you guys over there. Would help if I press the right hotkey. Prepare for an aerial attack. Brace yourselves, my brethren. So it's going to be mutilisks we probably want to worry about. Oh, let's freeze that guy. Oh, let's get everyone on that. Let's keep our shields. Oh, or keep blinking, rather. There we go. And we got another stalker. Nice. So, oh, you all be control group two. And we've got a hatchery to deal with. The Queen of Blades built hatcheries here. She seeks to subvert this sacred world. I shall put an end to that plan. So the Broodlord is going to be a pain to deal with. You see, what do I want to do? I think, do we want to stun that and then see if we can attack there? There. One down. And then I think we'll probably want to stun the Broodlord next. Let's get those guys down here. Let's 
Posh V is back. And we're good. So, last thing, take down the Overseer. Because then uh, Zerus Hall can just jump down and can just slice at the factory. In fact, you can jump down and start working on that now. And you guys just fight that. May as well take the rest of these out while we're here. I don't believe the Broodlings will see us. Oh, it just hasn't even spawned them. May as well kill that. Uh, can you guys get down here? And there, another shrine. And I think that will probably heal the stalkers as well. I don't know why I'm shooting those rocks. <laughs> I just dislike the rocks. Uh, there we go. Uh, Zeratul on the point. Thank you all. Is it heal all the stalkers? The second fragment of the prophecy. My task is nearly complete. Yes, it does. Your hope is an illusion, old fool. If you can so easily read my mind, Kerrigan, you'll see that I'll never give up so long as hope remains. I think Careful I should have now. left those rocks up, actually. Has set guards to and gone. Our way. Where's the Ultralisk? We should take them out carefully, one at a time, or risk being overwhelmed. So what I'm going to do is take that out, and then shoot that. Cool. You address me. And then if we can take the Brood Lord. Can you stun that, please? Thank you, guys. There we go. Only taking shield damage, which is good. And then I think what we probably want to do is stun him. Oh, dear. Hang on. I just hit the wrong button completely. I could do with four stalkers, but I don't really want to over one mistake. There we go. Okay, cool. And I'll want to stun this next. I, I don't have to. There are ways to uh, fight the spore crawlers, I'm sure, without doing that. But let's just stun it anyway. And then you can kill those. Well, your sh well, actually, their shields are pretty much already restored, so let's just speed this up a little bit. There we go. Right. Uh. The banelings spew acid when they die. Stalkers, take them out from a distance. Yeah, I always find this bit deeply annoying. think we want to jump there. Oh, and... There we go. Probably should... Oh, ah, it should be... <laughs> Hang on, let's actually target fire then. Hold position there for a second. From a and let's jump over there. Unseen. And then we should be able to blink back in a second. Blink away. I'll destroy that while we're waiting for Blink to come off cooldown. Blink back. There we go. 
Ah, whoa, 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 whoa. And then I'm pretty sure we can just finish off these two. There we go. Uh, that was uh, very nearly silly. Oh, actually, I bet there's a hatchery down here. Yeah, I do remember there being a hatchery down here. Let's do a save before we go in there. Uh, did I? I did. I did hotkey back to the W as well. I should be using that. This hatchery must be destroyed if I am to keep the Queen of Blades from subverting this land. Now, what I want to do is I want to. I think there are ultralisks in here, probably. In Arudin, Russia. But let's we are freeze that guy. Take that out. I will erase and then, the how long until that's off cooldown? Seven seconds. Or seven StarCraft seconds, at least. The there we go. Oh, you guys just jump over there. Actually, can they, can they hit from there? No, they can't. Ah, we don't need to kill the Ultralisk, it's not important. So going to be a little bit slower to do it this way, but that's not really a big problem. Okay. And then this bit's going to probably be fun. Oh, Banelings, interesting. <laughs> okay, wait for a shield to come back a little bit. Oh, we'll do a save before we move on at least. Right. Spine crawlers. Kill them before they can take root and attack. Destroy that, that's the big problem. Uh oh. you get back, there we go. And then as long as we as long as we freeze this guy, can they shoot from there? No, but they can shoot down there. There we go. Just blink out of the way. You hold position. And then you put him in jail. My allegiance is yours. I wonder... No, I don't think I want to risk it. I wonder if you guys can get relatively close. Can you kill him? Good, good, good. And then we'll clear that out. You can just run past, I believe, as well. Hi, Templar Karas is nearby. So I am going to destroy these rocks as well and hope that I uh, don't need them for any kind of... Sh there we go. Antaro Tassadar, Primate Zeratul. I am High Templar Karas. My force tracked the Queen of Blades to this world, yet we know not what she seeks. Kerrigan and I were both drawn here to uncover an ancient prophecy. With your aid, I pray we can discover it before her. It is an honor, Great One. Lead on. Okay, so that's everyone there ready to go. Uh, is it worth void prisoning that? Probably. I've placed the Ultralisk in a void prison. Bring it down, Paris. Oh. I was not even paying attention to my stalkers then. Didn't consider that they might want to, you know, attack the stalkers. can you destroy the airborne sir? There we go. And I wouldn't mind putting one of the Broodlords in... Gale, you guys focus. These Nidus worms must be destroyed, or the Zerg reinforcements will overwhelm us. You head up here and put that in jail. Actually, you go down here and kill these two. Now, before we activate this, there is one last thing we need to do. Zeratul has 
has destroyed their works. Press on. Nope. Ah, that's not a cooldown yet. Right, cool. So, before we go any further, one last thing we need to do. Let me think. I'm trying to remember. There is a little bit of a cheesy way to deal with this. Think what you do. Oh, hang on. Actually, I don't think I want to destroy those. The Queen of Blades seeks to pervert this world with that hatchery. I must destroy it. Because uh, there's a really annoying fight with this one, but you can kind of basically cheese it this way. You can just get high ground vision. <laughs> so you just do it that way. There we go. It is done. All of Kerrigan's hatcheries are destroyed. There is yet hope for this world. Yep. Nice easy piece of uh, piece of Zerg research there. Ah, yeah, that's the one thing I'm forgetting. You need to give Zeratol a way of getting back, so I need to give him vision up here. So you jump over there. Now you can jump there. Uh, and these got actually, can you all jump down there? No, there we go. Perfect. You address me. The final piece of the prophecy. It speaks of one who shall break the cycle of the gods. Most ominous. But if the Queen of Blades seeks this prophecy, we must keep it from her. The rest is obscured. What? You might peel away the prophecy's layers, Zeratul. But you cannot outrun the doom that awaits us all. We cannot prevail against so many. I will stand against the Queen of Blades while you escape with the fragments. I will not abandon you. The prophecy is more important than either of us. Reveal its secrets, Seratul. The future rests on it. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten, brother. Okay. I must get to the Void Seeker before the Zerg overwhelm me and the prophecy is lost. So mostly we are just going to want to... I'm actually going to jump over here. Oh no, going to lose stalkers. <laughs> Fortunately, I don't really need them at this bit. There we go. Yeah. Oh, we can just destroy the rocks too. And then we'll just jump up here and we'll get to a Void Seeker and done. I cannot decipher the fragments on my own, yet I know who might interpret them. The preservers of Zakul. If they cannot, I fear this entire universe will burn. And there we go. I've never really noticed it before, but the um, the void uh, the void seeker has this really cool kind of like echoey effect from its engines. I, ju I just never was really paying particularly close attention to its flight path before. Also, obviously, after the first time I watched the cutscene, I've been I've skipped it every single time. I'm not really too worried about uh, not getting all the stalkers out. There is actually an achievement for it, which got already. It's, it's kind of interesting, I guess. Jim Rayner reliving Zeratul's memories will allow Stepman to <laughs> do more research better. I it's space magic crystal and uh i think it's also funny in the intro is just a panning shot of the void seeker flying so i guess zeratul is remembering that from a third person perspective i guess he's developed a flair for the dramatic since the end of the brood war but yeah anyway 
<laughs> that's enough waffling about the ludo narrative dissonance of uh, of the justification for this level i hope you've enjoyed this if you did please feel free to give us a like hope you've had a great day and i will hopefully see you in the next one goodbye